Come on, lift your voice in the building. Come on, let us shout be heard in the congregation tonight. Could you lift up Jesus? Thank you, Jesus. Woo! Hallelujah. Are you glad to be in the house tonight? I'm going to make a deal with you. If you're tired and ready to go home, we can go home right now. We'll just say amen. How many of you feel like there's a work for God to do here tonight? I feel it. Praise God. Just a few minutes ago, Brother Daniel stepped to this pulpit and made a statement that I believe was prophetic. All day today in my room, I rested this afternoon and began to seek the Lord. And I didn't ask God to give us a conference we'd never forget because we danced and shouted so much. I asked God to do something in this house tonight that was so powerful that would manifest in such a deep way that only he could get the glory for it. I've come to tell you, I don't believe God's finished. I believe we're getting ready to behold miracles. I believe the power of God is going to manifest like you have never seen it. How many of you believe that? Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise God. If you can't feel it after that kind of music, the creativity on this platform is absolutely unbelievable. You guys are amazing. I thank God for this group tonight and what we feel. Listen, if you don't have the victory yet, you're in trouble. And after, after the apostolic Holy Ghost cowboy got up here tonight, that's what you remind me of, Bishop. You're just, you're just a, a Holy Ghost cowboy. The devil don't want none of you. <laughs> after, after Brother Smelser got, I, I just watched him up here, big old tall lanky. Th I'm like, man, he's got that gun. He's twirling that Holy Ghost revolver around. Every devil in this county hates his guts. That makes me want to go home and be a better shepherd. Thank you for the word, Elder. Thank you so much. Praise God. Praise God. If I started giving honor in here to everybody that deserved it tonight, we'd be here for a long time. But I do want to honor the man of God of this house and his precious wife. I give honor to this pastor of this assembly and thank the Lord for them. Amen. I give great honor tonight to this team that's put this together. Uh, Brother Daniel Smeltzer is one of the hardest workers. It's amazing. And the, the team, the crew, I know you haven't done it by yourself. This is amazing. Thank you for everything. Praise God. Uh, we can do this two ways, and uh, I'm not going to leave here offended. I've been doing this a long time. I've had a lot of Friday night opportunities, and, you know, we can kind of just smash the gas, dance a little bit, and go home, go play ball or whatever you're going to do tonight, or if you guys will give me a few minutes tonight, we're going to lock in in the presence of God. I'm, I, uh... <laughs> I don't mean this in a derogatory manner, but I'm not talking about little headaches disappearing. I'm not, I'm not just talking about like I came in here, my back hurt a little bit, and I, I feel better when I, I'm talking about, I believe in the name of Jesus tonight, that irreversible disease, it's going to leave. Malignant cells are going to die in bodies tonight. Death sentences have been put over you, but tonight we reverse. I said we reverse the curse in the name of Jesus. It's going to happen not only in our generation, but it's going to happen here tonight.